Hi all. Welcome to new class. Today's class is about multiplexers or data selectors. Multiplexing means sharing. And there are two types of multiplexing. Time multiplexing and frequency multiplexing. A multiplexer or simply we can say MUX. So a multiplexer or a data selector is a logic circuit that accepts several data inputs and allows only one of them at a time to get through the output. The routing of the desired data input to the output is controlled by select inputs and it is also called address inputs so this is the functional diagram of the general multiplexer so there are two raised to n inputs and n select inputs so there will be 2 raised to n inputs and n select inputs and only one of them will be at the output at a time and we can draw like this so there are several inputs so these are the inputs So, only one of the input data will be given at the output according to the select inputs. So, this is MUX or multiplexer. So, the multiplexer acts like a digitally controlled multi-position switch. So, it acts like a digitally controlled multi-position switch. The digital code applied to the select input determines which data input will be switched to the output. For example, the output Z will, will be equal to the data input D. The output Z will be equal to the data input D0 for some particular input code and Z will be equal to D1 for another particular code and so on. In other ways, we can say that a multiplexer select one out of N input data sources and transmit the selected data to a single output channel. So this is called multiplexing. Let us study about the basic two input multiplexer. So this is the logic diagram for the basic two input multiplexer with data inputs D0 and D1 and data select input S. The logic level applied to the S determines which AND gate is enabled so that its data input pass through the OR gate to the output. So we can say the we can write the Z output is equal to D0 S bar plus D1 S. So when S is equal to 0, when S is equal to 0, the AND gate 1 is enabled and AND gate 2 is disabled. So Z will be equal to D0. And when S is equal to 1, then AND gate 2 
is enabled and get 1 is disabled. So, Z will be equal to D1 when S is equal to 1. So, this is the case for 2 input multiplexer. Next is the 4 input multiplexer. So, 4 input means the input is 2 raised to n. So, 2 raised to n is 4. That means n will be equal to 2. So, in this case, 2 input multiplexer, that is 2 raised to n is equal to 2, then n will be equal to 1. So, we got D0 and D1 as the input and S equal to the select input is 1. So, in 4 input multiplexer, that means the input is 4. So, input is 2 raised to n, that is equal to 4. So, n will be equal to 2, that is the select input is 2. So, we can draw the function table, that is select input S1 and S0, then output Z. So, this is select input and this is output. So, the combinations for the select input are 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So, the output Z will be D0, D1, D2 and D3. So, we can write the output Z. Z is equal to S1 bar S0 bar D0 plus S1 bar S0 D1 plus S1 S0 bar D2 plus S1, S0, D3. Now we can draw the logic diagram. So there will be 4 AND gate. So the 4 inputs are D0, D1, D2 and D3. And there are two select inputs, S1 and S0. So first one, D0. D0 is S1 bar, S0 bar. S1 bar. Then S0 bar. Into D0. Next. This is first AND gate. Then second AND gate. D1. S1 bar S0. S1 bar S0 Next and gate S1 S0 bar into D2 S1 S0 bar S0 bar is here And next AND gate S1 S0 into D3. So S1 S0 
and the output Z is equal to the sum of the outputs of these AND gates. So this is the output Z. So this is the logic diagram for four input multiplexer. So here the logic levels applied to the select inputs S1 and S0 determine which AND gate is enabled so that its data input passes through the OR gate to the output. Similarly, in the case of 8 input multiplexer, the input is 2 raised to n that is equal to 8. So, the select input n, s is equal to the select input, then n will be equal to 3. So, in case of 8 input multiplexer, the input lines are 8 and the select input are 3 that is S0, S1, S2. So according to that we can draw like this. And in the case of the 16 input, 16 input multiplexer. So in case of 16 input multiplexer the input lines are 2 raised to n that is equal to 16 so the select input s is equal to n is equal to 4 so in case of 16 input multiplexer the input lines are 16 and select input lines are 4 so according to the code given to the select input one of the input line will be passed through the output so this is the case for multiplexers thank you for watching the class if you like the classes please like share with your friends and subscribe my channel